YouTube debut um, and I just figured that since I'm starting here I might as well start where all natural women start and uh, that's with that with your big chopper when you cut off all your relaxed hair um, so let me start here um, I've been wanting to cut my hair for years and I was just always too scared to do it and uh, I moved from Milwaukee, Wisconsin to Houston, Texas in June of 2009 and before I moved I kept telling my co-workers that if I moved um, to Houston I was going to cut my hair off and they were like no you're not you're not going to do that and I was like huh I'm going to Houston it's going to be hot and I'm not going to be flat ironing my hair every day so I'm going to cut this mess off <laughs> so uh, that, that's basically what I did I, I cut it off and I um I'm actually really very proud of it. Now I did transition, I transitioned from, well I stopped getting relaxer the, in the end of January of 2009 and then I transitioned, I mean I, of course I wore it until I couldn't comb through it no more and then I got, a, um, I had sew-ins and then um, I took my sew-in out and I was like either I put another sew-in in or I cut this mess off because I'm not putting a perm in it. So um, I decided to just go ahead and cut it off. And before I cut it, I, I did. I spent a lot, a lot of time on YouTube, um, you know, listening to people's stories and how they felt about going natural and what they did. And um, the one, uh, the the one video that really did inspire me was um, it, if you type in uh, TWA Confidence, uh, she should be the top one. I want to say her name is Shay. Coco Love or Shea Butter. No, not Butter. Shea Coco Love. I can't remember, but it's just uh, she gave a really inspiring speech about going natural. Um, and so I watched that video like 10 times and then I was like, shoot, I'm going to cut my hair today. So I got up um, and I drove to Walmart to buy some shears. And on my way to Walmart, I bumped <laughs> in diaries. I am not my hair. I bumped it like crazy to Walmart home and then I started, you know, I wet it up first so I could see where the um, relaxed hair was versus um, the natural hair. And when I um, cut it, I got through like this much of my hair and I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> what have I just done? And uh, I kept going of course and uh, then I had my cousin kind of straighten it up for me because I couldn't really see the back of my hair. But you know what? I wouldn't change it and I don't think I'll ever go back to a relaxer um, here in Houston I've noticed that there are a lot of natural women and I think that it makes it more comfortable for me you know well I mean I'd have been comfortable anyway I try, well you know I mean I can't say I don't care about what other people think because everyone does at some point but I try not to worry about what other people think I mean it's my hair you know and if you don't like it whatever don't look at me <laughs> and if you gotta look at it maybe then F it just deal with it it's my hair you know this is me you know this is my expression of myself this is who I am um but I I, I absolutely love being natural let me let me tell you about going natural I have a cousin I'm trying to convince her to go natural but she She's scared because she doesn't want her hair to be short. And she's like, you know, I have so many different textures of hair that I don't think it would look right. Da 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 da. Now, first off, let me tell you, the first thing about being natural is that your hair can look crazy. And that's okay because that's how it's supposed to look. It's an afro. So if it's a little disorderly, you know, I mean, that's the beauty of it. That's what makes it cute when it kind of looks wild and crazy. That's the, you know, one of the best parts about being natural. I mean, of course, when you wake up, you. You want to fluff it because <laughs> you don't want to leave out the house with your hair flat <laughs> and then this part high. No, you don't want to do that. But, um, I mean, that's the beauty of it. You know, you can have 10 different textures in your hair. It's okay because, you know what, people don't pay that much attention. I mean, if somebody looks at her head and says, oh, my gosh, she has 10 different textures of hair, how horrible, then they looking too hard. And you don't need to worry about what they think. <laughs> but that's just me personally. Um. Um, another thing about natural hair, um, this is my hair. This is what God gave me. This is how I'm supposed to wear it, uh, minus the color. <laughs> but this is this is what God gave me, and 
why should I be ashamed of what God gave me? I mean, I'm not ashamed of the rest of my body. Yes, I'm a thick chick, but that's okay. I like being thick. I don't want to be skinny. And you know what? Yeah, my hair is nappy. That's okay. That's what God gave me. And guess what? Let me tell you something. This right here is the most versatile stuff on earth as far as hair is concerned, okay? I can twist it up, I can braid it, I can straighten it, I can make it curly, I can make a Q style. You know, I mean, that's the beauty of having natural hair. You can do so many different things with it. So if you're worried about going natural and, um, if you're worried about going natural and uh, not being able to do anything with your hair, stay on YouTube. Look up TWA styles. Look up natural hairstyles. There are a ton of them. And if you ever want your hair, your hair to be straight, but you don't want to get a relaxer, go ahead put a weave in your hair. There, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but that, that's just my take on being natural. Um, another thing was being natural. When I first cut my hair off, to be honest, no offense to anybody when I say this. But I was like, oh, shoot, when I cut my hair off, I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> that was my first thought. I was like, oh, man, I'm going to look like a boy. How do I counteract that? And, you know, and then I was worried about people thinking that I like girls, which I don't love men. Um, but, you know, I was really worried about that. And I was like, what do I do? To, to counteract that that stereotype of having, because at first it was real short, having short natural hair. How do I counteract that? Start with big earrings. I mean, these aren't these aren't that big and banging, but I mean they're they're big enough to make a statement. If you wear big honking earrings, very beautiful with natural hair. Um, eyeshadow. Throw on your eyeshadow and your lip gloss and look flawless. You know that that's what you do to counteract. Um, or maybe not counteract, but just to kind of make you look a little bit more feminine with, with your natural hair. Another thing I do, I don't know if you can really see it, but I, I pull my hair back. Um, you know, and I, I like that look on me anyway. I pull it back just to kind of give myself a little extra oomph with my hair. Um, but I know that when I first cut in, I went back to Milwaukee. One of my cousins, he looked at me, he said, Ugh, why did you do that? I don't like it. You don't like it, I don't care, it's my hair. I do what I want to. I don't say anything about you, you know, and I don't like the way your hair is. Um, but you know, I think that people worry about what other people think. Um, and you know, actually last week I had a real weak moment since I cut my hair off and I was like, oh my God, do I look professional with my natural hair? Was I concerned? I, I was really concerned about what, you know, I look from a professional aspect. So what did I do? I mean, I asked people at work, do you think my hair looks professional? And I work with a lot of black people. So they were like, no, I love your hair. It's cute. So I was like, well, mm, let me get a, a white person's perspective. Only because, you know, I mean, workplace is full of them. <laughs> and, you know, they tend to be in positions of power. I mean, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. So um, my old boss, I asked her, I said, um, do you think... My hair is, you know, do you think my hair is unprofessional? Would you think anything bad about me with my hair being natural? And she said, no, I love it. It looks very nice on you. So I think that, you know, with natural hair, so long as you do it right, it can be professional. Um, I just, I don't know. I mean, don't worry about being unprofessional with natural hair. No, because... I do have a bachelor's degree and I mean I need to be professional in what I do and eventually I am going to go back to school and get my master's degree and I'm going to be um, a counselor so when I do that you know I need to make sure I look professional in what I do um, but I just wanted to kind of I don't know give you guys just a, a brief overview of my experiences being natural um, and I guess I'll come back to you guys later with another video. Um, and I don't know what I'll do next, but we'll see how this whole YouTube thing works out. Thank you for watching me, and I uh, hope I didn't ramble too much for you. <laughs> but um, thank you for watching me, and have a wonderful day. I to be the best that I